Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video, we are going to discuss another lead code problem. A very interesting problem. There is a lot to learn in this problem. So please watch till video till end and hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. So in today's video, we will be using recursive CT. So before going to the C uh, problem, we will understand what is recursive CT. So as the name suggests, recursive CT is a uh, CT running in loop. So uh, the CT will call, will call itself and it will run till the breakpoint. Okay. So we will understand the structure first that how it is written and how it how it is step by step runs. So in the recursive CT, this is a recursive CT. So with CT, this is CT name. Also, I have created a video on CT yesterday. You can check it out first before watching this. So in the recursive CT, there is an anchor query. So this query runs only once. So first time when this CT runs, it will run this query, right? And then there is a union all. And union all, this query is recursive query. So this query will be running again and again. In fact, this full query will be running and running again. So every recursion will be with union all. So this will run union all, this will run. And every time this runs, let's say it is running five times, it is union all, union all, union all. You can imagine like this, right? So we will go step by step and understand how it is returning this result. It is returning number from 1 till 6. Okay. So what is happening? Some uh, First of all, anchor element is running. Anchor element is returning what? 1. Just it is returning 1. Right. Now at this point of time, so this is the variable. This is the CT variable which will be used for recursion. So this is a column name num. So at this point, num equal to 1. So when num equal to 1, so anchor element has produced 1 and then it is it will go here. It will check is num less than 6. Yes, num is 1. So it will return 2. So it is returning 2 now. Now next time, now num is equal to 2. Again, it will go here, union all, right? It Every time it is doing union all. Again, it will check is num less than 6. Yes, it is less than 6. Again, it will return 2 plus 1, 3. Yes, like that, it will go till num 5. And on num5, it will return 6, right? And that's why you got the output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I will just run it again. So we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in the final query, I am just selecting num from CT numbers and recursion is happening. The recursion is happening because of this num. Okay, I hope th this is clear. So we will be using this foundation in our lead code problem. If you have if you have not understood it, please go back to the video and uh, check it again how it is working and then come to the problem. Okay, so this is the problem now. The problem name is total sales by year. This is a lead code high school hard problem. Very interesting problem. So this is the input, the first table what you are seeing and this is the output. So what they have is they have product ID, period start, period end and average daily sales. So from 25th to 28th, this period. They have average daily sales of 100. Again, for product ID 2, from this date to this date, they have average daily sales of 10. And similarly, for product ID 3, what they want is for each product, they want total sales, total amount of sale year wise. Right? So, for product ID 1, if you see, it is in 2019, 25 to 28. So, whatever are days in between. Right, so there are 35 days, so 35 into 100, it will be 3500. Right, so you will say it is easy, I will just subtract this minus this and get the uh, and uh, multiply by average sales as it will be done. Yeah, it will be easy for this product, but for product ID 2, if you see, it is going in 2018 till 2020. So we have to see for how many days sales happened in 2018, for how many days in 19, and how many days in 20, and accordingly we have to generate the number. So we have for all three years, right? So this is going to be tricky part. Again, for product ID 3, it is in 2019 and 2020. So we have to check how many days it was in 2019. So it is starts on first. So it is 31 days, right? So it is 31 because every daily sale is 1. Again, for 2020, if you see, there are 31 days, 31st January, right? Hope this is clear. So let's move on to the solution. So this is our table. I will just... Let's like start from sales. Okay. So this is my table now. So what I'm going to do, what if I generate, so it is each day, right? Between this day to this day, 
between this date to this date each day if i get sales in different rows once i get it i can do aggregation year wise right from let's say from 2000 uh, 2019 to 20 there are 62 days if i get 62 rows for each day so for 112 2019 2019 i will get one row for 212 2019 2019 i will get second row similarly if i get uh, 62 rows for 62 records i can de- then do aggregation on just year and some the sale and in, in that way it will be done right so what i am going to do i am going to generate dates using recursive cte okay i will generate all the dates between minimum start date to maximum end date and those dates i will be using to generate multiple rows to explore this table into multiple rows okay so let me start the ct with recursive ct let's say as okay so what i need i need first the anchor anchor row right so i will take the minimum start date minimum period start date so select minimum of period start as let's say dates okay and i need maximum also so i will put max period and as max date okay so what will happen this will give me um, this will give me the first row the anchor row right this is my anchor row then what i am going to do union all just look at this carefully okay union all select and now i need to add date so i got minimum date and i need all the dates so i will add one date one by one right so i will add dates so i will use date add function date add i will add is days one day at a time in dates right comma this i will take as it is i don't need this but because number of columns should be same in all the unions so i am using it from r underscore ct okay now i have to put i have to put what i have to put the filter condition right because we have to limit till max date so i will say where dates less than max underscore date and i will just close it okay and i will just select star from r underscore ct okay so it is giving some error uh, invalid column name dates okay the this is wrong that's why it is giving me wrong okay if i run this now it is giving me error it is saying the maximum recursion 100 so by default the maximum recursion is 100 so we have this option of adding we can add the maximum recursion is 1000 we can add any number so by default it is 100 you can change it so now i once again i will run it and i got all the dates from first so this is my minimum date in my table so from first till 31st 2020 i got all the dates right i have all the dates 427 records now what i am going to do i am going to say inner join i will inner join it with my sales table okay and join on what on dates this is the dates right all the dates between period start and period end okay let me run this then you will understand what is happening so if you see let me sort it also one second order by product underscore id comma dates okay. okay so for product id if you see period start date is 25 and end date is 28 okay they are around 2 months of data so what 
so in the dates column if you see we have so as many number of rows as many dates between two day to these two dates so from 25th we will have if you see product id 1 we have till 28th right we have all the rows between 25th to 28th similarly for product id 2 period is start date 112 and 122 so we have all the rows between these two dates right and average daily sales is coming for all those right Again, for product ID 3, we will have number of rows whatever, uh, uh, as per the number of days between period start and period end date. So, this is very simple now. What I have to do just say year, year of dates, right? Product ID. I am just aggregating as report underscore year comma sum of average daily sales as total amount okay and in the group by i need to add year dates so on year and product i am doing a group by now and similarly order by also okay Mm, this I should remove. I think that's it. Now I will run it. If you see, we have product ID, report year, total amount, right? And for product ID 2, we have 3 rows now for each year. Again, for product ID 3, we have 2 rows, 31, 31, like what we said. Okay. I, I loved this problem. I loved the way we solved it using recursive function. This recursive CT you can use for, for generating dummy data. Many times you have to generate dummy data. Like in this case, we have to generate multiple dates to get the, to explode our rows into multiple rows, right? So very, very important concept. And this way you will be solving many problems in daily life also, where you have to generate many rows. So, so do consider this question. And also in the description box, I will put everything the create a statement, insert a statement, do try with some other method without recursive CT and please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care.